So in this video, we're going to look at the page visibility API and how this is helpful for us, but mainly our users. Now, if you have a site that maybe does something repetitively um, with some kind of loop, some kind of interval in JavaScript, um, like polling, you can see at the bottom, we're just polling over and over and over again, just doing a fake poll and just incrementing some count. When the user navigates away from this page, do we want this website to continue polling? Probably not because they're not actually viewing it. If we're in a different tab, we might not want some action to be performed over and over again. And this isn't just useful for polling, it's useful for a variety of different situations. For example, you could have an image carousel which automatically rotates through images. You don't want that to happen when the user's not on the page. So let's take a look at how this actually works. So if you keep an eye on the console just around here, I'm going to switch over to this other tab. We're going to return back and we're going to see what's happened. So let's say we get to 75 and then I'm going to switch over to another tab. OK, so I'm now in my other tab. Um, we left the count for that poll on 75 and we're going to leave it a couple of seconds as I'm talking and then we're going to go back to this page. Now you can see that it's still um, polling, but it's it's it paused at 75. So we're continuing to poll now. And if you notice, you can see that we have visibility change to hidden, visibility change to visible. So what we're doing with the page visibility API is we're detecting whether the viewer or the visitor is on a page. Now, why is this useful? Well, it's useful for particularly mobile devices, uh, devices that you want to uh, reduce battery consumption, CPU usage, uh, while the user isn't on the page. It's going to cost uh, a user a lot of money in data or a lot of data if you are constantly polling something when they don't need to be polled. So that's how it works. That's why it's useful. Now let's take a look at how we can actually use the page visibility API. We're going to build this example and then you can go ahead and implement it in your own projects. So we're starting out with a completely blank page here. Um, we're going to build just some script tags uh, in line on this page and just demonstrate how this works. So we're going to get our, our polling going and then we're going to detect whether the user is actually viewing the page or not. So let's create some script tags just here and we'll go ahead and start writing some JavaScript within here. So let's get our poll started first of all. Uh, so let's go ahead and define the poll count up here. We want this to be one or zero a, a default. We don't really care. It's only an example. And we're going to create a function here called poll, which is actually going to poll uh, something. Uh, this could be anything. So inside of here, we're going to console log, we're not actually doing anything. And we're going to say polled x times. So we're going to replace this x with the poll count. And we're going to go ahead and increment that poll count like so. So now what we want to do is set an interval. We want this function to run every minute or oh, every second. So we're going to say set interval. We're going to pass in the name of the function or the variable that's holding that function. And we're going to say we want this every uh, 1000 milliseconds. So now what we see is the following on the page. It just keeps going. It polls and polls and polls. When we move over to this tab, obviously that's still polling in the background, which is a massive problem. So we don't want that to happen. So uh, let's go ahead now and look at how we can stop this if the document is hidden. So all I'm going to do is within this uh, poll function, I'm going to do a quick if statement here to access this hidden prop property on our document object. Now, if this uh, returns true, that means the document is hidden, i.e. the user is not currently uh, viewing it. So all we're going to do with this function is we're going to return. We're not going to continue with the rest of here. We don't want to do whatever we're doing down here if the document is hidden. So let's go ahead and test this out. Let's refresh the page uh, that will stop that on two and we'll just switch over to this other tab. We'll wait a few seconds. We'll come back and you can see that that will then continue. So that will continue to poll. Now, how can we actually detect with an event listener uh, as the visibility changes? 
like let's say for example you have some kind of video playing let's say you have an HTML5 video playing this is another good example when the user switches to another tab you might want to automatically pause that video and that's entirely possible with this so what we need to do is we need to set up an event listener so we're going to add an event listener here and the event is visibility change uh, lowercase v so here we're going to pass in our callback and what we're going to do here is we're just going to console log and we're going to say visibility changed to um, and then we're going to append on something so x so let's go ahead and just concatenate on document dot and now we have a new property called visibility state like so so visibility state let's just pull this in a little bit so what we're now doing is we're listening for this visibility change when that does change we can just run something so in the case of an html5 video when the visibility changes to hidden we can go ahead and pause the video and then when we come back and it changes to visible we can play the video again so we're not going to do this in this video but you can go ahead and implement that if you need it so let's go ahead and run this switch over to a new tab come back and you can see that as we switched over we didn't see it because obviously we weren't on the page but the visibility changed to hidden and the visibility changed back to visible when we landed back on this page so we can use the hidden value to detect if it's if it was hidden and we can use the visible value to detect if it is now visible again i.e pausing and unpausing a video so that is a little bit about the page visibility api and how you can go ahead and use it in your project there are like i said different applications to this so you can go ahead and choose how it's going to be useful to you but it will save your users a lot of bandwidth and uh, a lot of their cpu usage while they're not viewing a particular page